The regret of being childless. Empress Wan of Tanjung Perishuan's only longji. Wan was a native of Shaban, Tongzhou present-day Wainan, Shanxi. From a scholarly family whose ancestor was Wan Shenyan, an assassin of Jizhou in the Liang Dynasty. Wan's father, Wan Grijiao, served as the Jiao lieutenant of Gangquan province in the early years of the Tang Dynasty. Wan was intelligent, intellectual, and had a beautiful, voluptuous figure. Therefore, Tang Xuanzang Lu Longji appointed Linzi County King and married Wan as the County King Consort. After the resurrection of Emperor Zhongzhan, the power fell into the hands of quite a wrist and ambitious Wei Huang. Wei Huang's power played better than the Queen of Wu, but she lacked the Queen of War like eloquence and wisdom. To achieve the purpose of the dynasty, Empress Wei conspired with Princess and Ellie to poison Emperor Zhongzhan and reuse the Wei clan. Li Tang dynasty faced the crisis of changing the name again. Lindsay King Li Longji and the readers of Zhang said conspiracy, liaison with Princess Taiping, instigated the failing army to start the palace coup, surrounded the Taiji Hall, killed the human and got angry Wei Huang and his clan party to stabilize the Li family lineage. In this political turmoil, the county Princess Wan, with her political courage and insight, participated in her husband's secret planning and urged Li Longji to eliminate Empress Wei and her clan members to prevent future troubles. After the successful coup, Li's father, Li Dan, assumed the throne as Emperor Ruzong. Li Longji was named King of Ping for his success in supporting the foundation of the Tang Dynasty and was later crowned Crown Prince. Wan was also recognized as the Crown Princess. To consolidate his power, in the first year of the Xianxian era 712, Crown Prince Li Longji conspired with Zhang Shuo and Wang Shuyi, the Crown Consort's elder brother, to kill his aunt, Princess Taiping, thus eliminating the power of the Wu clan. When Emperor Ruzong heard about this, he was terrified. After years of struggle in the court, his siblings died, and in the end, only he and Princess Taiping were still alive, and the two of them were very close to each other. When Princess Taiping was killed, Emperor Ruzong was in deep mourning. The cowardly Emperor Ruzong felt that he could no longer cope with the situation, and announced that he would abdicate the throne and abdicate in favor of Crown Prince Li Longju. Li Longji took the throne as emperor and was named Emperor Xuanzang, and Huang was named Empress. Huang fulfilled her long-cherished wish to be the mother of the world. As a result, the Huang family became prominent. Huang's father, Huang Renjia, was appointed Duke of a neighboring country. Li Sheng's elder brother, Huang Shuyi, married Princess Jinyang and became a prince's son-in-law, and was promoted to the rank of junior eunuch of the imperial palace and then to the rank of Prince Chao Biao and the title of Duke of Jin. Most of Queen Wang's family were promoted to higher positions. Since ancient times, the mother is honored by her son. However, as the mother of the world, Queen Wang, after marrying Li Longji, has not born a son and a half-daughter. Empress Wang worried because without a son, she would not be able to inherit the throne, and it would be difficult for her to keep her title as Empress forever. After Li Longji took the throne, he had a dream that a god told him that God would bless his son. Later, Yang Liang Yuan gave birth to a boy, who was named Heng, which is derived from the I Ching. Therefore, Emperor Xuanzang of Tang favored Li Heng and his son. He promoted Yang Liang Yuan to the rank of concubine. It added to Empress Wang's worries. She wanted to find someone to calculate whether Li Heng was the child the emperor had dreamed of. So she found a Taoist priest to read Li Heng's fortune, but she did not realize that the fortune was not suitable for raising. Queen Wang used this to receive Li Heng in the harem and took him into his possession to raise him personally. Yang Juyuai concubine had no choice but to give up her love. Soon after, she died. However, Empress Wang's worries remained. Initially, Li Longji became emperor, but one day, he found that the harem also hides a bit of beautiful, charming, elegant beauty, which was later favored for a while by Wu Huifei. Wu Huifei is the daughter of Heng and Wan Huiyuji. Since Emperor Xuanzang favored her, she was treated almost equally with Empress Wang in the palace. But she was so proud of her favor that she never took Empress Wang seriously. Queen Wan was very dissatisfied with Princess Wu's arrogance and excesses, and often criticized her in front of Emperor Xuanzang. 
Since Emperor Xuanzang had become so obsessed with consort Wu Hui's favor, he not only did not believe in Empress Wan's words of loyalty, but also thought that she was competing for favors and intentionally slandered her. Over time, Tang Xuanzang to Wan Huang Wang did very disgusted. Coupled with Princess Wu Hui's provocation, so the idea of abolition of the queen, he repeatedly discussed with Jiang Zhao the abolition of the matter. In fact, inside and outside the palace on the Xuanzang exclusively favored Wu Hui Fei's early discussion. The most taboo is the Wu surname. Zhuang Zhao intentionally or unintentionally branded Xuanzang's abolition of the idea leaked out, causing many ministers dissatisfaction. Emperor Xuanzang was so angry that he immediately proclaimed to exile Jiang Zhao to the border. It proves that Emperor Xuanzang did have the intention to abolish the empress. Wang Shuyi or the abolition of the matter of Queen Wan. Queen Wan was very panicked. This is the central queen, cannot be said to be a dangerous signal. Since consort Wu Hui became a favorite, Emperor Xuanzang hardly ever summoned Empress Wan and other concubines to his bedchamber. Empress Wan could not have children or see Emperor Xuanzang very often. Her relationship with Emperor Xuanzang became more and more estranged. The situation of Empress Wan caused worries and panic among the Wan family. Wan Shui, the elder brother of Queen Wan, and the Emperor's son-in-law was even more anxious. Once Queen Wan was deposed, it would be difficult to predict whether she would live or die, not to mention the glory and wealth of the Wan family. During the emergency, Queen Wan discussed with Wan Shui seeking help from the Witchcraft Left Channel to survive the crisis. As the Empress was in the harem, it was challenging to find a witchcraft practitioner. And even if she could, it would be difficult for her to avoid being discovered and exposed in the palace. Therefore, the compulsion spell to do the law will be handed over to Wang Shuyi for specific manipulation. Shuyi heard that Ming Wu, a monk from the left channel, was good at compulsion spells. So he asked Ming Wu to set up an altar at his residence to perform the spell. Ming Wu taught Wang Shuyi to bathe and worship the heavenly pivot dipper and to take a piece of thunderbolt wood and carve the name of Emperor Xuanzang Li Longji on it. Then, they drew a talisman and sealed it with magic. Then, he gave the thunderbolt wood to Wang Shi and said with great certainty, If the Empress wears this medal, she will have her son soon and will have great achievements and reign over the world. These words were in line with the wishes of the Wang family, so Wang Shi was very happy to receive the divine medal and quietly carried it to the palace and gave it to Empress Wang to wear. Queen Wang's behavior, especially the compulsion spells to suppress the victory, was soon reported by the palace people. Xuanzang heard, extremely shocked. Kai Yuan, 12 year 7 to 4 in the fall of July, Tan Xuanzang personally investigated the case, witnesses and material evidence. The crime cannot be pardoned. In response, Emperor Tang Xuanzang issued an imperial decree abolishing Wang's title of Empress, demoting her to the common status and relocating her from the harem to a different house. All members of the Wan clan were exempted from all tastes and sentenced to death. Queen Wan was so desperate that before she left, she asked the Emperor Xuanzang to see her again in honor of her husband and wife. Xuanzang granted the request. When Empress Wang met with Emperor Xuanzang, she wept like rain and cried bitterly, saying pitifully, Your Majesty, can you not remember the love between us in times of trouble? But Emperor Xuanzang did not respond to this. In October of that year, Wang Shuren died of emaciation and depression. Emperor Xuanzang ordered that she be buried in the Waxung Temple outside Chang'an with the honors of a first-grade official. Later, Xuanzang's grandson, Tang Emperor Yu, succeeded to the throne in Beiyang 2 years 762, declared for the abolition of the Queen Huang Snow, exempted from all the charges, and restored to the Empress honorary title, but still not sealed posthumous title.